Hey, it's Jeremy with Teletone. We just released our very first audio effects plugin and the walkthrough is online, but I wanted to make a kind of quick start guide to the Tone Architect. And I'm hoping to keep this short walkthrough in maybe under 10 minutes, so let's jump on in. So let's kind of start high level with the sound and then get more granular as, as we go. I have a very abbreviated version of the trailer music that I'm gonna play for you. The only plugins that I was using on this is the Tone Architect and some reverbs and delays. So this green instance up here uh, is using the Tone Architect on the both the instrument level and the bus level, and the mix bus level. And then uh, this one has those instances bypassed. So let's just give this a listen. It'll take about a minute. So as you can tell, we are getting all of the guitar tone from the Tone Architect. And I was plugging my telly straight into my Shadow Hills preamp, and so that is where we got that sound from. So what is the Tone Architect? It is a tone shaping plugin that utilizes a lot of the techniques that I lean very heavily on for telatone production and instruments. Uh, you see a bunch of gear right here. There, there's an SMC2B and then two of these pull tech style EQs made by TubeTech. Uh, we were very inspired by kind of a combination of the two of these things, which we use very heavily, and I'll explain here in a second. But there are three sections, the saturator, the tone shaper, and the compressor. There is also an oversample button, which goes up to 4x oversampling, an input and output. Any of these sections can be bypassed by clicking on their label. There's also a preset menu up here. This is also where you can initialize the plugin if you want to reset it. And then there are all these different folders full of presets. There are over 150 in total. The saturator section does what you would think it would do. There are three different types, tape, tube, and cassette. There's a pre and post gain and a way to link those. If you are using the saturation heavily, I would recommend using this pre gain to drive it. If you are not using the saturation, I would recommend using the input to adjust the, adjust the decibel level going into the plugin. Jumping over to the compressor, uh, this is a VCA style compressor that has super fast attack and release. It's similar to the API 2500. Uh, ratio goes from 2 to 1 up to 10 to 1. There is a mix knob and an auto gain function. And I wanted to save the tone shaper for last because this is kind of the, the heart of the tone architect. And I wanted to explain a little bit in detail about how it works. In the full walkthrough, I go into a lot more detail on all of this, some of the technical information about like the circuitry that we're, we were emulating for the saturator and a little bit more detail on the tone shaper, but I do want to give a quick overview here. As I mentioned, it's kind of a combination of a, a multiband compressor and a Pultec style EQ. And if you're used to using Pultec style EQs, you are familiar with the boost and attenuate function. We have combined that into one knob, uh, at least for the lows and the highs. The lows and the highs both have crossover points, which, which is adjustable right here. And whichever direction you uh, push the knob, it's going to boost and attenuate at the same time. So when you turn it this way, and there's a little icon to help you, we have this set to around 150. When you go this way with it, it's going to boost the frequencies below it and create a dip at the frequencies above it. Same thing with the highs. Uh, the mids occupy whatever space is in between the two crossover points. So um, if you have this set to 250 and this set to 2K, this is the mids are going to occupy the space in between and those can be boosted or attenuated here. Now, that is the pull tech side of this, but there is also the multiband side of this. And as you are boosting any of these frequencies and you are creating you know, peaks in the frequency spectrum, you can also compress those peaks. And so that is how we are com kind of combining these two ideas Internally, we jokingly called it the Moltec EQ because it's a multiband band tech kind of combination. Uh, last thing I'll mention here is that if you want to boost some of this super low inf information, but you don't want to necessarily boost at 5 hertz or 10 hertz, these filters happen after uh, in the circuit. So you can be boosting you know, around uh, 60 hertz, 
and then filtering out below that whatever you don't want to hear. So I had mentioned that some of the techniques we use in the Tone Architect have been foundational to the Teletone sound. Now, in a lot of our instruments, that sound is kind of tucked into like the sound design here in, in our drum instrument, Solfi. Um, but if you don't have Solfi or you don't use virtual instruments, uh, we wanted to kind of break this out, add to it, and then really expand upon it. So I have the Tone Architect Bypass, and this is using the sound design that comes with Solfi. And now I'm gonna go ahead and reset the sound design except for the swing, and I'm gonna put some reverb back in, but all of the other effects are now bypassed. So we, we can definitely improve on this. So let's go ahead and load up the Tone Architect. And I'm gonna hang out in the drum bus section here for a minute, and I am gonna go ahead and bypass uh, the compressor and tone shaper for the moment. And I wanna show you the differences in this tape saturation. So there's tape, tube, and cassette. Now. The first option, tape, is, is kind of emulating two-inch tape. It's very musical. It can handle a lot of low information. It's not gonna break up super easy. So you can use a lot of this without it completely distorting your sound. Uh, this tube breaks up pretty easily. It is emulating a tube circuit. It gets, uh, the sound does get a little bit hotter, a little bit louder as you turn it up. And then we have this cassette option, which is emulating something like this uh, Tascam Porta Studio. So let's go ahead and listen to this. We'll reset it. So that's the tape. Let's hear the tube. And let's go over to the cassette. Okay, so that is the saturator section. Let's bypass that and go over to the tone shaper. And we're just gonna listen to it kind of the way that this vinyl preset loads. And since we are emulating vinyl, you can see that I have uh, done this high pass filter and set it to around uh, 70 something Hertz. That is because vinyl doesn't typically carry a bunch of that super low end sub information, but uh, we can take this from here and adjust it to whatever we want. You can see our crossover point is set to 120. Uh, and then it's boosting above that and then attenuating below 120. But let's go ahead and move this crossover point. Let's get a little bit more low end in there and turn this down. Now let's turn the saturator back on. Okay, let's add the compressor and let's go ahead and go with something kind of middle of the road to start with. And I think I like that. That's using the vinyl preset. The Tone Architect is out now. You can buy it at teletoneaudio.com. Follow us on Instagram at teletoneaudio. Thank you so much for watching.